Hey, what's up? What's going on, everybody? Joe here, 690 ADV. You know I love motorcycles. Are you a new rider? Maybe an intermediate rider? Heck, even a seasoned rider? And you already own one dual sport, but maybe you're thinking about getting an adventure bike. Well, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't go out and spend my money just yet. I would stick around and watch and see what's coming up, because we're going to get into it next and talk about the new adventure bikes that are coming that you might want to spend your money on. Next on The Rant and Ride. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hopefully you were all having a great day. Hopefully you had a wonderful holiday and that you got all the things you wanted and you got to do all the things you wanted to do. And if you got a new bike, well, shame on you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's awesome. If you got a new bike, like I said, put it down below. I'd love to know about it. Hey, you know what? Don't forget, go to our website, sign up. Put your email in. You can't win if you're not in. So say it, 690 ADB. Anyway, yeah, you can't be in. We got a live giveaway tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Central Time. You got to be in to win. So make sure you go sign up today or tonight. You have to be in before 9 o'clock in order to be registered to win. Dual sports, venture bikes. If you've never owned an adventure bike, I tell you what, they so have their place. And, uh, all right, Bubba. <laughs> the uh, little kid riding a bike. Anyway, um, yeah, if you've never owned an adventure bike, man, I tell you what, there's something about them that are awesome and fantastic. Uh, I've owned a couple of them and I, they're great, but I tell you what, I always seem to be coming back to these lighter dual sport bikes. The biggest problem that I have with adventure bikes is A, they're heavy, and they usually cost a whole lot of money. So if you're a new rider, um, you know, and you're looking to get a bike, you know, I know everybody sees the videos of these bikes and the things that they're doing, these big adventure bikes. Uh, you got to be a little bit experienced on those bigger adventure bikes to get out and do the business that you see those things do. Not saying that you can't. I'm just saying that you definitely uh, you definitely need some practice if you're going to go out and you're going to try to ride those bikes off road and get out and do the business. So the nice thing is, is what this video is about. It's about the middle weight. Um, the middleweight adventure bikes that are coming. So if you're thinking about maybe getting an adventure bike, maybe you own a dual sport or an enduro or something like that, and you're thinking about getting a new bike, then, you know, I'm saying, man, hold off a little bit. Take that money, add to it, because I tell you what, <laughs> there are good days are coming. Good days are coming. And uh, there's so many cool adventure bikes that are coming, and I think that if you wait, you will basically be thanking yourself because of what is coming. Especially if you want an adventure bike that doesn't weigh five, 600 pounds. And what do I mean by that is last week's video, we talked about the Norden, the 501, and it's coming. It's, it's, it's announced, it's, it's, the, it's gonna be, but you know what, we briefed a little bit about KTM. And KTM, it's coming. They've already got it basically, if you look on screen, you can see they've got it basically, they got it blurred out for the 490 series. And that's really the motorcycle that has got my attention, uh, just like the 501. But the KTM, you know I love KTM because I've got a 690 and I love this 690 so much. It has just, it's got the right power. It's got the right uh, highway manners. Uh, the maintenance intervals are fantastic on it. Um, you know, but it's not like an adventure bike. So if you've never owned an adventure bike and you're thinking about maybe putting a second bike in or getting your first one, the 490 is, man, probably going to be the ticket. Now that 501 is probably going to be the ticket too, but the part that makes it, to me, fantastic, I don't know about you, it's a twin. It is a twin cylinder motorcycle. And the nice thing about twin, now there's, there's, it makes it really super smooth. All of the twin cylinder adventure bikes that I've owned 
they ride like butter on the road. They're very comfortable. You can do lots of miles. That's why people love their Africa Twins, their BMW F800s, you know, their 1200s, the 990s. But the downside to that is it's, they're super heavy. All of them are super heavy, and everybody will call them a pig. Now, this 490, I'm excited. Reason being, they're going to be able to get this thing right. I know it. It's the new king. It's just waiting to be announced. I'm telling you, they're going to bring this into the market with that 501 from Husky, and I just think that they are going to smash, especially if they get the numbers right like they did with that 390. It's $6,000. So, the twin, what about it? It's going to ride real smooth, which basically means you're going to be able to get on it and get on the highway and do the business. You're going to be able to crunch those miles. You're going to be able to go basically good long distances in the saddle without having to stop a lot. That is going to be really nice. Uh, I think they're going to get the fuel around four gallons or better. I would be shocked if they don't. The nice thing is, is it is speculated that the 490 will be an R. <laughs> an R. And if you don't know what that means, that basically means it is going to be the dirt-oriented um, version, which they did not give us in the 390, which is kind of a bummer. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. KTM's going to do what they want to do, and they're, you know, it, it is what it is. But it's going to be in an R. Not only that, four bikes are coming out of it. Four bikes. They're going to do the RC series in that motor. They're going to do a Duke in that motor. They are also going to do an Enduro in that motor <laughs> and an SMC. If you don't know what an SMC is, that's a Supermoto. I'm excited. I mean, <laughs> four bikes in that twin in that lightweight range for an adventure type bike. Man, you got to be excited. You have to be. This is not a review, it's basically for all you riders that don't know about it and you don't have the info on this bike, you really need to just stick around and surf a little bit and check out different channels because we don't have a whole lot of info on it. But it is awesome, it's exciting, and they've leaked it out on their, uh, basically, their coming up sheet showing what bikes are coming, and the 490 is just all across the board. The Adventure is the one that's got my eye. I have been wanting an adventure bike, and I've been holding off on buying another bike. I'm not getting rid of this 690 anytime soon because I love it. It does everything I want it to do. It was like, it's a pig. You should get a 500. The 500 is awesome. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's not what I want. I want this bike right here. It has the, white, the right weight. It has the right power, and it does what I need it to do. I like to adventure ride. I don't like to sit there and trailer my, bar my bike everywhere I go and do all my stuff. And that adventure in that 490, I'm telling you between that and Husky, it's got my attention. I don't know about you, put it down what you think. What would it need to be for you to buy? But it's gonna have a spoke, 2118. It's gonna have that twin. It's basically gonna be like the 790, but the type of look, but from what I understand, it's only going to come in the R, and I think that is going to be a home run on KTM's end. You heard it first on the 690, and you'll find out about it soon enough, as soon as the motorcycle show comes up. Anyway, hey, I hope everybody had a fan fantastic holiday. Don't forget, go and sign up on our website, 690ADV.com. Don't forget, any merchandise, anything that you need, gears, boots, jackets, whatever you do, down there in the description, we've done the work for you. It helps the channel out. Live giveaway tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Central Time. Since we're here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, we appreciate you. Get out, ride, find your adventure, be safe. And uh, if you're thinking about getting a bike, man, maybe hang on. Because these bikes are coming. They are coming. Just hold tight. And I think it's going to be money well worth spent. If you're looking for a second bike, or heck, if you're new and looking for a new bike. You heard it. 690 ADV. Thank you so much. 690 out.